practice. Does reliability alone justify buying an Avensis over the more common Passat or Mondeo, or can it compete with its rivals in other areas as well? Find out in the full Parker's Toyota Avensis review. Performance, even with a range of efficient engines, Toyota Race performance is adequate. The lineup comprises four options, two petrol engines, a diesel and a hybrid. Barring the hybrid, all the engines come with a smooth six-speed manual transmission. What's notable by its absence, however, is the option of a small turbocharged petrol engine. Apart from the hybrid, none of the engines in the Urus are particularly modern and drivable options are more refined and efficient petrol engine choices. The entry-level petrol option is a 1.33-litre engine that outputs 98 bhp and 128 Nm of pulling power. Urus models with this engine can accelerate from 06 to mph in 12.6 seconds and can reach a top speed of 109 mph if you need a little more power, for example if you intend to drive on the motorway a lot, then you'd be best opting for the 1.6 litre petrol engine instead. It generates 130 bhp and 160 Nm of pulling power allowing the Urus to accelerate from 062 miles per hour in 10 seconds dead and on to a top speed of 124 miles per hour. This engine is also smooth and quiet when cruising, although it does need to be worked hard to maintain speed when going up hills. Additionally, the 1.6-litre engine is available with an automatic continuously variable transmission called Multi-Drive S. The diesel option is just one diesel engine available in the Urus, a turbocharged 1.4 litre unit. Rated at 89 bhp and 205 newton meters of pulling power, it allows the Toyota Urus to accelerate from 062 miles per hour in a reasonable 12.5 seconds. With this engine the Urus can reach a top speed of 112 miles per hour hybrid synergy drive. One of the main selling points of this model, and the previous Urus, is that it's available as a hybrid. The Toyota's hybrid system utilizes a 1.8-litre petrol engine, an electric motor, a battery pack and a continually variable automatic transmission. The electric motor can propel the car on its own, or work with the petrol engine to boost acceleration. When the battery is deplete, the car switches over into conventional petrol mode until some charge is restored to the electrical system. It's not horrifically slow, either. The Please subscribe and hit the bell on my channel. Thank you.